Hi, this is Michael from LightAZ, here today with a brief introduction to the SKU configurator built into all LightAZ products. As you might have seen from the previous introduction, you have various ways you can search. In this instance, I will begin using the fixture type search. For this tutorial, I'm going to specifically look for a product that I know has different configurations so you can see some of the capabilities this SKU configurator offers. What I have in mind is a linear ceiling recessed fixture from Fluxworks. Let's go with the first one, Fluxworks NF1A, and here's the product page with the data table. Scroll to the bottom to find the manufacturer and spec sheet page links. Then click the configure product button here. This brings up the SKU configurator. With this, we can easily configure the SKU code, while LightAZ's logic design ensures no impossible combinations are allowed. As you can see, when we choose drywall ceiling, the grid length specification becomes unavailable. And likewise, when we choose grid ceiling, the drywall length becomes unavailable and the grid length becomes available. So we choose drywall trimless, asymmetric, 6 watts per foot, 35K, 0 to 10 volt dimming, 347 voltage. As you can see, when we choose 347 voltage, the battery pack under wiring becomes unavailable. As this notation next to battery pack indicates, this is because battery pack is only available with universal voltage and must be specified with 4 or 8 foot length modules. So instead, I'll select universal voltage, and here we get to length. A lot of times, when specifying length, or any range of quantities, you will have a text field like this next to the selection. This means you can write in your preferred length as long as you follow the notes. As you can see here, we must specify drywall in 1 foot increments, and this note at the bottom requires a 2 foot minimum length. So let's specify an 8 foot length so we can follow the battery pack options we went over earlier. And then we get to options. You can see the choices in the options are a little different from the rest of the configurator. Normally, when you are choosing configurations, your choices are circles, but here they are squares. These squares indicate that multiple choices from within the same category can be selected. So for example, we will select both alternate wiring and battery pack as we mentioned earlier. Let's continue with black trim and end cap and finish off with remote smart sensor. And we're finished. So we click save configuration. And as you can see, it highlights your selections in the data table up top and gives you your code, which you can copy to any document you need. For now, let's learn about what features you can use after configurating your SKU code. Use this button to add the product to your favorites. Click Add to My Projects if you are using the Project Builder within LightAZ. Check out the My Project tutorial to learn more about how the LightAZ Project Manager can build and export a lighting schedule or spec package in seconds. Use the Share button to send to any colleagues or clients or send to rep to get lead time, cost estimates, and more. The emails sent using these buttons will always include the SKU code you built using the configurator as well as a custom fixture tag if you wish it. And there you go. The LightAZ SKU configurator is at your fingertips. Check it out for yourself, and if you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact us at contact.lightaz at lightaz.com or go to lightaz.com forward slash about. Thank you.